In psychology today, the study of personality is dominated by the study of traits. Traits are dispositions that we have to act or behave in a certain way or interact with the world. And the study of traits is really interesting because it allows for cross-cultural studies to be a, a conducted very easily. So in the last five or ten years, there have been many studies across cultures examining the structure of traits in, in our minds. And one of the most important findings that have been generated from this line of research is that there seems to be a universal structure of traits. That is, that, uh, that people all around the world seem to have uh, certain basic traits that is consistent. You might hear of these traits like extroversion, neuroticism, uh, openness, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. And these five traits in particular have been found uh, in every culture that's been studied. And so in psychology, this is called the big five. Of course, there are many sub-traits, but, but psychologists have been able to put them all together as five major domains or dimensions of personality. <clears throat> Recent cross-cultural research has also shown that certain cultures have other traits as well. So, for example, in Filipino culture, there, there seems to be the big five plus a couple more. Uh, and so there are some questions as whether, to whether there are five traits that are universal, six traits that are universal, or seven traits that are universal. That's something that's going to be uh, uncovered by research, and I'm sure that in the next five or ten years we'll, we'll get that answer. What's a more interesting question is where do these things come from? Now, many cross-cultural psychologists will want to say that, well, cultures facilitate people having certain types of traits. So one way to think about the, the United States, for example, is that individualism fosters people to be very extroverted and sociable and friendly, and that's why the United States has a high number of extrovert, extroverts and scores high on extroversion. Um, and it may be true that cultures facilitate or shape the traits. But there's a lot of evidence to suggest that there's a biological component to traits as well, that, there's some, that there may be some trait genes. Now, it's true that science has not yet found what genes those are, but there's evidence suggesting that that may be the case. Now, if that's the case, it's really interesting because then it would suggest that the United States is more extroverted, not because of the individualism as a cultural product driving it, but because there's more people with these genes for the extra, for extroversion to come out. And it may be that the cultural factor of individualism is a result of these genes and not the other way around. Now these are all speculations and we really don't know the answer to which way it goes and it's probably a combination. Um, but this is some interesting, these are some interesting speculations that occur because of these cross-cultural differences that we can find in traits around